that's a COP26. <laughs> buses to make it move. Indeed, you can put solar panel on the top of your bus. Unfortunately, I don't think you have enough sunshine in Scotland. I'm, I'm sorry for this, but so I think it would be safer to have a battery in the bus and get the, the bus uh, recharged in the power plant. If we make trains and cars silent, then will people hear them coming? Yes, they will be a bit more silent, but I think if we're conscious and we behave in a way where we're using our eyes as well as our ears, I think it'd be a good thing. Is that a bit harsh? I'm not going to make Oliver cry, am I? How clever do you need to be to build a massive electric train? Rosie, how clever. Wow. I mean, we have some really, really smart people that work for us. But I think it's more about passion. It's about doing something that they love. And that's more important than being clever. How big is the, the battery in the battery train? The battery is actually really, really big and it's really, really heavy. So we probably estimate that the weight of the battery will be about four tonnes. <laughs> but the size of it would fit really nicely and comfortably underneath the undercarriage of the train. And you probably wouldn't even realise it was there. Can we make a car fly underwater? <laughs> we can't make a car fly underwater. Why not? <laughs> that's, a, that's a lovely idea. Um, basically, you can do it with an electric car, yeah. How about at the, underneath the car you would actually find a way switch on the wheel and, and it would be like a disco light in the car? You can have disco lights if you'd like. Uh, I'm pretty sure that there are car manufacturers that are happy to put dis disco lights at the bottom of the car. Uh, it's a great idea, but I'd rather recommend to, to put the switch uh, inside as it might be a little bit wet outside. If a battery chain is quiet, will I hear like that sound my cousin Calvin makes when he steams? So first of all, Mia, I'm loving the hair. You look amazing. Second of all, who is this cousin Calvin that's making noise when you're on a train? Battery trains are quiet, definitely. Um, as are electric trains. Unfortunately, it might mean you hear your cousin Calvin a little bit more. Um, we can't fix that, but I do think you would have an amazing trip on the train. So hopefully he's not going to be too loud. Could you make um, robotic pets that can sense danger before the danger happens? Example, something was overheating too much and they would warn you before a fire. Yeah, what a great question. Uh, one of the biggest dangers that we have going on in the world right now is uh, deforestation, illegal cutting down of the trees, which happens all over the world. It happens in rainforests around the world. And um, we don't need robotic pets to uh, understand danger. We actually have um, a forest full of life and full of animals. So by listening to these animals through the power of sound, and understanding their behavior, we can predict danger and hopefully stop uh, illegal loggers from cutting down trees. We could maybe make a robot in like whenever to use technology with that, and then you could predict what you wanted to do, like if you wanted to make something and you never thought of that idea yet. Thank you for your question, Lacey. I am a Hitachi robot called Emu and I am five years old. I'm afraid I can't fully predict the future quite yet, but I am working on it. Enjoy COP26. Oh, that's a tough question from the little ones, isn't it? 